Yo, Jimmy Butler here at the Miami Open. I'm out here watching Alexander Zverev warm up right now. I don't want to talk too loud because you get in trouble for doing that. So I just found out Big Face Coffee is down there for all the players to get what they need to go out there and compete. Um, but I'm here. I'll be here for a while. If y'all really want to see me hit a couple tennis balls, <laughs> you won't get to see me do it. here at the Tennis Channel Cadillac desk, Danny Clevenger, Prakash Amitraj, and we're joined by Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Buckets himself. He's a little upset with me. We lowered his chair, yeah. so it looks like we're at least <laughs> close to the same height. You lowered my chair, and I saw all the photos y'all put up. There were me with the bubble, my mustache. <laughs> oh, we're not up. even thrilled with it's, the photo. It's all bad. Okay, all bad. So we're starting off with a little bit of an L here. Okay. Okay, well, at least I understand it. We take it. We understand. All right, but... You have a project that's brought you here. We'll mm -hmm. talk about that in a second. First, we got to know, what is it about tennis that you love so much? 
that I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I don't think I'll be good at it for a very long time. I don't buy that. So it, it gives me, I think that like since everybody's been playing since they're five or six, yeah. I'm just starting when I'm like 31. Mm -hmm. I got a long way to catch up, but that's the competitive spirit in me. I can't say that anybody can beat me at anything. So I think I'm the best tennis player. Yo, we would love to see you get out on the court. Now, look, you, you're so open with sharing yourself to all of us. you got a brilliant YouTube channel with all sorts of stuff on there. You always keep it 100 whenever you get in front of the mic, which I love. Now, I want to ask you, you took a little trip to France, took in some wine, a winery over there. And one of the interesting things you said, the snow, the weather, the rain all affects the seed and how it grows. So the seed that is now the fine wine that is Jimmy Butler, how has <laughs> your surroundings influenced you over the years? Oh, I think I've been fortunate to be around so many great athletes, mm -hmm. tennis, basketball, football, soccer. Um, and I just love how much they put into their craft. And it just makes me want to be the best basketball player that I can be. Um, the best barista, as we'll get into later, that yep. I can be. I just love to see people um, in their element, um, the passion that they have for their game. So everywhere that I go, I try to watch as many sporting events and be around as many different type of people as I can, um, just so I can see what I can be doing better. That's a real growth mindset, something that can inspire all of us, certainly. So beautiful for you sharing Appreciate that. that. Um, now, as I mentioned, you keep it 100, but you also like to clown. You know, you give a lot of guys, you know, grief, your teammates, a lot of celebs, That's too. Me. Kevin Hart, I think you spanked him left-handed one time I for did. everyone to see. Mark Wahlberg's a good friend. Uh -huh. So if you could pick one memory where, I mean, you really got someone. I mean, you clowned them so good. You were like, you know what? I got him. Mm. I got him good. I did. Any, anyone that come to mind? Uh, it's very actually. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Oh, please tell us about this. So <laughs> we had a bet. We still do have a bet going of would he have a better chance of scoring on me one on one <laughs> or me returning his serve? Wow. So what, what, what do you think? Who do you think wins? Do you think I can return one of his serves, or do you think he has a better chance of scoring on me one-on-one? -on -one? Here's the deal. I have a basketball background. I played Division One back in the day, 100,000 years ago. Uh, okay. So I understand how hard it would be to play you one-on-one. -on -one. But there's I am a, but, there's on a butt coming. Yes. I feel like there's no, a there's butt not. coming. No, there's not. I actually think, I think it would be harder for him to beat you one-on-one. -on -one. No, no, no. Not beat me. I know he can't beat me. To he, score. He beat oh, to score. score. Oh, you know yeah, what? it might be harder for you to return the serve. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm backing up on that one. Okay. I actually got to gotta go the difference. I, I think you'd have a good shot at returning a serve because, because... That's what I'm saying. You got a wingspan. So I just if he's trying to ace you out wide, you can get a racket on the ball. That's just, you know, and you, athlete, it translates. Just my thought. I can't believe you right oh, now. Oh, he's yeah. mad at me. You're trying me. I mean, Why let's lower the chair. chair. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's see. We're talking about tennis. We're not on baseball. That was my third strike. I'd be out. But luckily, that's not what's happening here. So we can at least turn the table and talk about your coffee company, Big Face Coffee. It's on site here serving players, VIPs. Mm -hmm. Precaution, I have been soaking up your caffeine all day long. It's something you launched in the NBA bubble. Why did you want to get into this coffee business? I just think coffee is absolutely incredible. I think you learn so much about people just sitting down over a cup of coffee. You always have you always have something in common with somebody that you never knew before if you drink coffee, whether you like oat milk, whole milk, skim milk, almond milk, yeah. whatever the case may be, um, you can always have a, a great conversation and get to know somebody over coffee. So I went over this morning, you know, my midday, I love my coffee and I like trying different ones all around the world, right? So I took your cold beverage out of the fridge, in the can. You Ooh. took it out of the fridge? Uh, Paid for oh, it. Oh, no, they, they gave it to Oh, okay, I was going to say, how'd you get back <laughs> no, I, 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 I didn't jack it. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> now and you're look, getting some heat, I, which I appreciate. I, I, I loved it. It kept me going all the way through. But I noticed you got a bunch of different drinks, all very interesting names, and some very creative mixtures mm -hmm. there. How did, did you help create that? How did that come about? We have a coffee genius named Tom who does all type of everything to make sure that our coffee is for everybody so if you don't um just enjoy the taste of coffee we have an eclipse drink that basically tastes like um hot chocolate wow. and then um we have a blue which is just a sweet version of some coffee that's actually blue um and he's just a coffee savant genius i'm so glad he's on my team um, but we have something for everybody, which is what like the Big Face brand is all about. It's coffee for absolutely everybody. Here's two things we can agree about. His coffee is great, and he's going to be playing all the way through June. 
Sound yes. good? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You're I want to, back trying to get some points. She's trying back. to make it there back a little bit. You know, I like appreciate that. it. And we appreciate having ten, uh, <laughs> basketball royalty join us here at the Tennis Channel Cadillac desk. When we get back, that third set from Anna Samova and Shelby Rogers coming your way.